What's good, Flow State Jedis? My name is Suma Chatterjee. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. I'm a Flow State Specialist. I help you feel your best and perform your best. Last night was the full moon, and I'm feeling very different, that's for sure. Today, I want to talk about four hacks that you can use for your ADHD, okay? Now, I have a very mild ADHD. But my brain goes into these very strange places, okay? Let's just say... It doesn't work like other people's do. I think comedian brains or, you know, entrepreneur brains could be very beneficial when it comes down to some of this stuff. And it puts me at ease knowing that, you know, someone like Da Vinci has ADHD or someone like, uh, you know, Richard Branson has ADHD. So that actually gives you much of a, a leverage, actually, to not compare yourself to them, obviously, but to understand that the possibility of someone at that caliber is available to you. ADHD is almost like a superpower, but it's got to be channeled in the right way. And if it's not, and you're going based on like what the schooling system is telling you or what the curriculum is giving you and all of this stuff, and, and you're seeing yourself as lazy or worthless or impulsive or whatever it is, you got to understand that it's up to you to do something about it. Have ADHD, have ADD, okay? Don't see it as a disability or as a celebration. It's just a fact. Don't add extra stuff on top of that, but just let me remind you that I view it as attention dialed into higher dimensions, okay? That's my reframe, my personal reframe for it. There are downsides to everything, there's upsides to everything. We can't sit here and start complaining about all the bad sides to this thing, okay? This is gonna be true for anything in life that you do, man. So, hey, ADHD is one of more of those things. So one of the prime, uh, descriptors of ADHD is in the brain you produce a low level of dopamine so you need to get real serious about your sleep and about your exercise because you want to create those healthy endorphins inside of you sometimes ADHD brains have this thing called hyper focus where it kind of can zone in and get into the flow but it can also get awashed by <laughs> that flow uh, essence in, in such a great level that maybe like nine hours have gone past or something and you're still like at one spot so you basically got to balance the chemical cocktail in your brain i would highly recommend that you have a low level of exercise and of course you know this isn't a part of the four strange tips however i would say that that's really important to consider even before that and also drink lots and lots of water because that's the greatest brain fuel there's something called the blood brain barrier and when you're taking medicine for adhd like ritalin or you know uh, adderall or any of these uh, pills basically tricking your brain for these neurochemicals to hang out in the brain longer right now not everybody with adhd has a very high energy some might have what you call a sluggish cognitive tempo of course i've noticed personally that i love me some caffeine man and my relationship with caffeine kind of goes to show my ADHD qualities. Wow, there's like a dragonfly sitting right uh, outside my window. Let me just, you see, that's my ADHD brain. Literally, it just right there, okay? That's <laughs> so my brain just went, eh, a dragonfly, right? <laughs> it just went into that world. So that's the thing, right? That's what happens. That's what tends to happen, but I'm not fighting against it. That's kind of cool that my brain does that. and looks for these cool, quirky things, right? Not everybody else might find that cool though. Let's say you're in a relationship and you're hella impulsive and you're hella just like, you know, in your own world and doing <laughs> like that. That's not a way to bond with someone. You get what I mean? Like you got to actually take down the walls, take down the ego, like connect with someone else, you know, bond with someone else, sit there, feel that awkwardness and go through the process. So stop finding all these limits, man. I see a lot of these ADHD coaches out there. They're weak sauce, man. What are you talking about? Look at you. Look at your life. If you are really struggling with this kind of neurodivergence. Excuse me? If you're addicted to video games and you love that ADHD brain going like off, oh, figuring out puzzles and doing all this stuff, gamify your life, bro. Gamify your life straight up. I haven't even gotten to the tips yet, okay? So I'm just telling you what I can before I dive into it. But this is going to be dope for you. So just stick around and listen to this. Number one, find a video of somebody studying or other people studying if you don't study with other people okay because i've noticed when i study when i'm in the same room as somebody else and imc also has this i think they have a a focus group where you can just go in and focus uh, and 
finish your work, right? With other people also working around you. But yeah, man, like that is such a powerful understanding. You know, working with other people, their energy will rub off on you. It's just gonna make you that much more productive, right? So if you're working at home by yourself, just pull up a video, right? Of somebody else working. Now you can obviously hear those sounds in their background, right? As they're working and it just makes you feel connected. This might sound very weird to you, but just like you're tricking your brain using medication, you can also trick your brain using other things and you'd be surprised how well this works for you actually. I realized that in ADHD, a lot of the times people will get very frozen or in this kind of indecision state. I try to move my body during that time and like kind of get into a child's pose and unlock that free state first and foremost. But also I understand that my brain is so functional with that tiniest bit of adrenaline. You guys get that? I'll notice that when I'm doing a chore or something like this, if I play very aggressive music, like aggressive funk, rage, like gym music, through that time, I'll get it done because I'm almost like shocking my system to create, produce this dopamine, right? And it's getting me into that zone again. I think music has been incredibly helpful and it's been one of those things that I highly, highly recommend if you're struggling with this. I love using music uh, therapy and sound therapy, including binaural entrainment and things like that with my particular clients, creating specified subliminals for them so that they can go through the process and have it be more effective to them. Number three, reframing, okay? I've understood there's a bunch of words that I'm just so turned off by, man, okay? I just, I just don't. My brain does not go there. These are words like planning, organization, okay? Uh, goals, calendar. Get those words away from me, okay? Therefore, in order for me to function in this life, I have to change all those words around. So make a giant list of all the words that you dislike. I'm telling you, you gotta create your own vocabulary. This is it. You gotta take an inventory of all the stuff that you're insecure about, all the stuff that is out there. And work on those things, obviously, to fix them and then solve them. But at the same time, you can also reframe them. And that will actually put you into such an action. This is such a brain hack. Okay? Because when I tell myself that I have a ritual to do and not a routine to follow, my brain goes at it. And I'm saying to myself, these are not chores, these are missions for me to activate different spiritual powers. So yeah, reframing is really, really key, really, really powerful, and it's super effective, okay? So once you make this inventory, try and practice saying these actual words and just communicate them with yourself, but also communicate them with people. It's like, you know, when someone calls you, you go, no, sorry, man, I got a mission I gotta do. They're going, mission? What do you want, a scavenger hunt or something? What do you mean a mission? They might be negative towards your reality, but so what? So what? Have people join in on your fun, you know what I mean? Don't constantly seek for fun and community outside of you. Like, I wanna be at the center point of my own life. This is main character May, motherfucker, you get that? I wanna be at the core of what I'm doing. I am here to grow. I'm not here to just waddle away my time, right? And, and kind of scatter myself. I understand that I can multitask as an ADHD person, but I've also got to understand not to be a Renaissance man all the time, right? I cannot be a polymath in every single moment. I've got to find ways to take away all other distractions. Where is the flashlight shining? Okay, where is the flashlight shining? That's what matters. So if you can blur out everything else but the task at hand and tap into the zone that way, play some classical music, get yourself to be locked in by locking the door and actually stopping any other distractions that are in the way. Now there will be distractions, but there are ways to handle that too. The next thing you wanna be doing is doodling, okay? Doodling on the side if you're watching something or listening to something. I'm telling you this is going to be powerful. Okay, so if you're taking notes on an audiobook or whatever, just kind of doodle and just allow your brain to like take away that excess strain or energy. As you're listening, you'll listen deeper. I'm telling you, it's gonna put you into a low level trance and it's, it's going to make you actually listen. You know, in schools when you were told not to doodle and not you're not listening to the teacher or whatever, actually you are listening 
but it's the fact that all this extra energy is going up to your head and may cause like an anxiety or an ADHD that is being transmuted out through the hand, right? On this piece of paper. So you're actually listening, but you're registering in a different way than most people. And that's completely valid. There's no one way of doing something, okay? There's so many different ways. So find, just like that doodling example, you can find any other self-soothing activity, okay? A self-soothing activity that gets you back into your superpower, a powerful default performance state. A couple of bonus ones that I'd say is just like getting up, you know, stretching, doing some jumping jacks, maybe sprinting a bit and then getting back to work, right? This is really, really key and powerful, especially with the, the loads of caffeine that, that will keep you, you know, even more energized. The gamma waves, of course, okay, I've mentioned that many times on this channel, but if you've never heard of gamma waves, okay, this is not what makes the Hulk into the Hulk, okay? <laughs> These are uh, waves that actually change your brain's uh, frequency, okay? So we, we each have our brain vibrating at one specific frequency. Usually it's at beta brain waves, which is waking consciousness. And if we can hijack it beyond that state, we'll get these aha moments or these insights of gamma, which is for focus and deep concentration. It'll actually spike up a lot of your energy too. So all the energy that you're getting from the, from the ADHD, you can type in ADHD music as well on YouTube and you can find a lot of great, uh, things to calm your brain down, make it amplify fa even better and even faster. And there's also like, uh, what they call is uh, sound designer drugs, right? So like you just listen to like a Ritalin, like an audio Ritalin, right? And you, and you can function with that. So I find that really cool. I think that's what the future is going to in terms of medicine. I think that the world is gonna move into that particular genre of, of like, we plug it into our ears, we get the downloads and all the things that we need, and then we move along and move forward. And there's gotta be an even, even more effective way of doing this. Now we at Primal Sutra, we're already hacking this tech and we're like just speeding past anybody, okay? In terms of the spiritual realms and the work with uh, specific deities, flow state deities specifically is what I'm interested in. I'm not really interested in random, you know, beings that aren't really gonna help us for this path, you know? The entities or the deities from different pantheons that we believe is relevant to the flow state path working is relevant to us we will move forward with that next i would highly recommend you cut out sugar richard branson also recommends this it's like uh one of his go-to's okay sugar really isn't good for the adhd brain okay there's many reasons for this we're not going to get into it but basically start to understand that if you're craving lots of sugar, you gotta get over that fact, man. I got me some honey, okay, to kind of curb any of that stuff. I have diabetes in my family, so you know, I gotta definitely double down on that and get that sugar away from me, bro, okay? It's gonna make my brain tired and brain foggy and numb, okay? And I do not want that. That is the last thing that I want. So, I hope you use these hacks well. I hope you use these little consciousness tweaks well. Have an incredible rest of your day. You already got this, man. You just need this video for a little bit of a permission slip to actually crush it today. But I know that you got this, man. And of course, if you ever need my help, I got you. Let's get it. Join us in the Costa Rica event. Join us uh, for our Matches into Dates uh, challenge, which is starting on the 15th, okay? Let's go. Let's...